Good morning. Good morning. I am Mrs. Sony, one of the occupational English test interlocutors here. At first, let me explain to you about the test in brief. The test has two parts, that is part A, the warm-up or the introduction and part B, a role play. It will be completed between 10 and 15 minutes. Could you please introduce yourself? Well, I am Jane, one of the registered pharmacists. Mm -hmm. I come from the southern part of India and I have done masters in pharma sciences. Okay. I have been working as a registered pharmacist in one of the reputed hospitals here for the last four years. Okay. Why do you want to go to Australia? Australia has plenty of job opportunities. Moreover, I look forward to work as a registered pharmacist over there. Why have you taken up the occupational English test? As the test of language skills are essential, I have taken up the occupational English test and it is a profession related test as well. Well, here is your role play card in which you will be playing the pharmacist's role and I would be playing the patient's role. You will have two minutes time to think about it. If you wish, you can make short notes. Thank you. Shall we start? Yes. Good morning. I am Jane, one of the registered pharmacists here to assist you today. How may I help you? Good morning. I am Mrs. Sony. I don't know the exact reason but I have difficulty in breathing. Well, your records say that you have been admitted to the hospital for bronchial asthma. Uh, are you a chronic asthmatic? No, not at all. I just need to know whether you are a heavy smoker or an alcoholic. No, I am neither a smoker nor an alcoholic. But I take a glass of champagne or wine, especially at the weekends. Well, these problems are related to breathing and these problems will soon disappear, probably after a week. Okay. May I know the exact reason for this? It's very common and all you have to do is to continue with the medication as per the prescription. Okay. Does this medication help me to get rid of all these symptoms? And one more thing, how long do I need to continue with this medication? Well, you need to continue with this medication as per the doctor's orders. And I would like to tell you about the precautions that you need to take. Yeah. You need to follow certain procedures such as sleeping in the right position and to avoid chill food with a daily regime. Okay. One more query I have. Can I take chilled water? No, you cannot have it at all. Oh, that's so bad. And one more thing, up to how many days do I need to follow these instructions? If you could continue with this for two more weeks with the follow-up, after that, I'm sure you would recover from this condition. Okay, okay. It sounds good. One more thing, how long do I need to stay back in the hospital? Not very long. Mm -hmm. You'll be soon back to normal and be discharged from the hospital. Because I have a project meeting in the next month, which I need to handle. That's the reason I am concerned about my discharge. I understand your concern, Mrs. Sony. You will be discharged shortly once your condition is stable. Well, thanks a lot for asking me in this issue, Jane. Thank you. Have a nice day. Thank you. Wish you the same. Bye. Bye.